So, you want to program your own add-on, but you are not a programmer. Not a problem. In the next three minutes, we're gonna make you a programmer. Real quick, I learned how to do this from watching CG Cookie's tutorial on custom add-ons. And if you want to get the details on this stuff, I've linked to his video in the description, so definitely check him out if you get the chance. Alright, let's do this. To create your own add-on, drag down a new window and set it to text editor. Click new and name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it your first addon .py. Activate the three buttons on the right, then go to the description of this video and copy the code by selecting it and pressing Control C. Now go back to the text editor and Control V. Fantastic! Look, you're almost done. Now I've organized the code for you so that it's really easy to read and understand, but all you really need to know is that this is where the magic happens. I've given you some shortcut examples to start you off, but you can delete the ones you don't need, and if you ever want to add new ones, open the info window, perform the shortcut, and then when the code shows up in the info window, select it, copy it with Control c and go back to the text editor, paste it with Control v and remember, the only code you need starts after OPS and before the parentheses. Delete everything else. To program it in, copy one of the existing examples and replace everything between the quotations with your new code. Once you've finished adding all the shortcuts you want, run the script, click on the name of your add-on, and then Control c to copy it. Go to text, save as, and save it somewhere on your computer, and Control v the name in so that it stays consistent. Go to edit, preferences, add-ons, install, find your add-on, Click on the arrow and check this box. Now we need to find a hotkey that we can use to activate it. Go to key map, 3D view, 3D view global. Go to the very bottom, click on add new. Click the arrow to drop the menu. In the black area on the left, type in wm.call underscore menu. And in the black area on the right, type in the name of your add-on ID. If you go back to the code, you can find it under ID name. I've just called it name blender C's. Just double click it, control C, go back to the area, control V to paste it in, and now we have to map this to a hotkey that is not used yet. Let's go ahead and map it to shift Q. Click on the A, type in the letter Q, and click on the word shift. Save preferences, you're done. Now at any point if you want to use your shortcuts just hold shift and press Q and your shortcut list will pop up and you can just click to activate them. That's it, you've programmed your first add-on. Now if you ever want to go back and change stuff, I've named everything so that anyone can understand the code. For example, the name people see is the name that pops up here where it says your name, you can go ahead and put in your own name. It's your code now, you can change it to whatever you want. The name that appears is just the word that appears at the top when you activate the menu. And you can also change the entire name of your add-on by changing this. Just make sure that if you do change that, also change the name in these two spots below as well or it won't run. But more than likely, you're never gonna need to touch anything above or below, so I've just moved it aside for you. And always run it at least once before saving. To update any changes you make, just install it again. Or if you've changed a bunch of stuff, it's probably easier to just remove the whole thing and install it from scratch. Well, there you have it. Congratulations! You are now a programmer. Hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.